Ah, I see you're a man of culture as well. I'm a girl, but thanks. Male hey, four, can you squirt? All right, that's it. You know, I'm calling him in. <coughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash just neckbeard things because everybody's got to love that good old cringe you can smell through the internet. If you guys would like to show your support and be absolutely amazing, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, hit that subscribe button and let go. You know, having seen a lot of these cars, and I honestly have lost count of how many I've seen that do this type of artwork style. I'm pretty certain that's called Itasha or something like that. I'm trying to get this right. Um, a lot of them look like they have a lot of effort put into them. This one just kind of looks like you lined up some paint and then detonated it. Never have I seen someone who can do all you can. I look at you, Emma, and gasp in awe. You are the best that I ever saw. You are the perfect celebrity for any man. Everything you do is so perfect for me. I would even drink your pee. Snowflakes be triggered on that line. Okay, you're wrong in all of that, but thanks for the brain damage. Marked on my calendar. Uh, plus, I have Google Home and Alexa to remind me for sure. Uh, P.S. I must say say that you're an outstanding and very sexy woman, and I would like the opportunity to intrigue your senses. Message me back personally to give me your answer. Thank you. You know, for a quick second, I forgot that Pokemon existed, and I would like to go back to that mental state, please. Women were made to be wives. You have to consider the future, and never disassociate yourselves from the responsibility or the consequences, else you are spreading your toxic physical energy in the cultural and mythic ecosystem of our society, meaning you are inducing others to do the same. By having physical and or mental socks, you are, if you are a woman, you are destroying yourself and other women. If you are a man, you are destroying women and other men. You will impede your emotional development and relation to the other socks by being a frivolously lustful and and guaranteed more mental suffering, and never be enlightened. Also, dumb Darwinian and simple genetical arguments don't count. Marriage skills, meaning not pretending or forcing psychological maturity. You are basically a god if you are capable of spiritual marriage, and will be reward a true soul bond. However, there is no point in pretending, so if you are an adulterer, just admit it and confess to the world so that you may be shamed and corrected into not sinning. Oh, do tell the truth, oh smelly one, you know the way. May your Dorito-stained fingertips and fedora-tipping lead the way to true enlightenment. Just get out of here. Big Bird comes to the unfortunate realization that Japanese people do not speak with English subtitles. This episode of our slash Jack Neckbeard thing is sponsored by the sound. Actually... <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing with my life? May be unpopular, but is definitely true. Female sexual attractiveness peaks between 14 and 21. Biologically, males are attracted to young, healthy women that are almost ready to make babies. That way, they are virgins, and the men know that they are raising their own offspring. That's why men want them when they are young and virgin. Then, ideally, they mature into good dinner companions, and smart enough to manage the house and the money. Very important, cute but brainless, girls don't help the family. Men need someone to watch over the estate while I go out and kill shot. I don't think I could have said it any better. I'm glad I'm not the only one feeling this. Y'all both need to go to therapy. I care that people are offended, but if you're going to be this default yuck person instead of addressing my argument, then I'm blocking immediately. Do you see this brown hair female at the bottom right of the screen here? Immediately showing me like 50% of her naked chest the moment I lay eyes on her for the first time. And like everybody else on the internet, though me 
maybe she has faith in the Facebook gods that her profile picture doesn't fall into the wrong hands, but holy crap, am I making something out of nothing? This culture is obscene. I use the word obscene because I read a book called The Real War by Richard Nixon. Nixon had an obscenity task force that tried to cut off off-brandography before it really got going, and of course, they failed miserably. Imagine, we were living in this alternate reality, where off-brand wasn't this saturated thing everywhere, and where women were trying to be exclusive with who they share their bodies with, like it's supposed to be a gift for your partner to worship, instead you're giving yourself to any stranger on the internet. Imagine, she had larger badangas and there was more cleavage. Okay for a profile picture? I don't know, sure, nothing matters anymore, bikinis and off-brand and whatever, but to suggest I am making something out of nothing instead of referring to something that is real? If you are someone who believes we can ever live in a world where people don't have automatic associations when you wear revealing clothing, then you're crazy. Obviously, we can executive override and the split-second sexual association and say, oh well, this is the culture. But that initial association will never go away, regardless of how much abuse of social engineering there is on Facebook. A denial that you're sending social signals with the clothes you choose to wear to not wear is a failing strategy and dishonest. Even if you don't intend the social signals, you know those signals are there and so are choosing to broadcast those signals. Alright, let me see if I get this straight, Friar Tuck. So does that mean you're going to go deficient on potassium because everybody's gonna automatically think you swing that way whenever you eat a banana? That might have not been your intention, but by your logic, you saying you is. It's big, it's green, and it tastes even more incredible than it looks. Oh boy, nobody take that out of context with Shrek, please, no. Introducing the new Dugarita. Mountain Dew gets yours today, along with all your favorite PepsiCo drinks. Hashtag Red Lobster Dugarita. May not be immediately available in all restaurants. Yeah, you know, because they're going to be sold out like GameStops on launch night. They said a vaccine wouldn't be ready by year's end. Dude, how are you relating a vaccine to something that makes my blood sugar levels want to commit toaster bath? You know what? If I'm doing the cheesecake for 50k, this will be the 75k. Okay. The things I do for subs. And if you understand that reference, you are a true cultured being, okay? Because you actually had a good childhood. I think you might need to tone up your stomach area, as it's kind of gross and flabby. Uh, but I do have a post-nut clarity. Okay, three words I was never hoping would be in the same sentence. Uh, look, dude, little pro tip. Maybe don't make any comment about somebody's body if the only area where you have more definition than a dictionary is your right arm, and we know why. My self-summary. Uh, first and foremost, I am a sir. Always seem to find myself in the friend zone. I'm a really nice guy that would rather spend a night cuddling than having socks. I'm a proud atheist and attend many free-thinking rallies. Wake up, sheeple. My first things people usually notice about me, my fedora. I'm never seen without it. Tis a part of me. I spend a lot of time thinking about how people can be so blind and follow organized religion, and if ill ever get out of the friend zone. On a typical Friday night, I am relaxing at home with a glass of brandy and my thoughts. The most private thing I'm willing to admit, I'm still a virgin and I watch anime. Uh, hate to break it to you dude, that ain't private. In Japan, the number four is considered bad luck. Looks like luck is about to run out, kid. What are you gonna do, stink me to death? Okay, look, it, it might honestly be the fact that I'm willing to try any food once just out of curiosity to see if I actually like it. Uh, but, like, seriously, seriously, dude, 75,000, come on. I'm honestly dead serious about the cheesecake, and I'm serious about this, too. Mainly, I'm setting this goal because I don't want to go to Red Lobster too soon because they're expensive. Can't wait for the tattoos and paint. Boy, if they ain't permanent and you are not authentic, you gotta go the whole nine yards. Discord mods, when the 14-year-old bi girl says that she isn't interested in a 32-year-old man, even if he can upgrade her to platinum, you betrayed me! Okay, for some reason, I just vaguely remember Fanboy and Chum Chum's so let me know down below how
how accurate is the meme to the character? Because I don't remember any bits with this guy. Son, uh, truly, if you 25, what do you have in common with someone that is 18? Honestly, I'll tell you the main reason. It's because of their innocence. Uh, they are not ruined by this sick world yet. You can mold them, and they listen. There you go. Okay, how is that saying you have anything in common? You are not innocent if you type this up. I love cuties. It's such a great movie. Okay, pedo. During the movie Cuties, you can actually see when the 11-year-old girl shows her chest that they are larger and more defined than those of prepubescent girl. Therefore, it can be said with confidence that the girl has hit puberty, and finding her attractive is not a pedo, but hippie. Uh, please get your terms right next time you try and argue with me. Oh, okay. Then, um, why are a lot of people canceling their accounts with Netflix and the stock is plummeting for it? But yeah, try to use your twisted mind to justify a movie that I'm not even going to be able to describe nor show you the actual photo that they used for marketing. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to show your support and see more videos like these, be sure to hit that like button down below and see if we can get this video to 1,000 likes and leave a comment down below. Lastly, if you have not already, subscribe and turn on those notifications for future uploads. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.